All right, this is the bonus edition of day 22 of 24 of the 24 beers of Christmas. It's Max here with Max Beer Review. And uh, today you got me here drinking a New England IPA right here. And also we got my boy over here. I'll just show you off, wait, I have to spin the camera around. My boy here, Chris, and he's drinking, what are you drinking, Chris? Mm, I think it's a triple d'Auton. Triple Belge. Belge. What, what does that mean, Chris? I don't know, it's some Belgian beer. Triple Belgian. It's triple, three Belgian. Chris here with a triple Belgian in a cup, not to be confused with. The two girls in a cup, from <laughs> From the internet. <laughs> For the triple Belge, uh, how does it taste? Give us, a, give us a review from one to five. One to five? Three and a half. Three, three and a half? half. Three and a half? That's yeah. good. It's a pass. It's a good pass. Well, it's a good pass. Would you recommend it? Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. I would offer it to fellow enthusiasts. That's good. Okay. And uh, what else is there to I put on the review? What are the flavors? What are the flavors that you're getting? I'm never good at telling flavor. It just tastes, it's not bitter and that's already a, a sell for me. So. Yeah, well, I'll just pan down to it there. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Golden. Yeah. Oh, this one's called the IPA Test 82. It's a New England IPA. 81, actually. Oh, New England, yeah, New England. <laughs> Let me get that right. The IPA Test 81 from Cibuar is one of the best New England IPAs I've ever drank at Cibuar. Not to be confused with the COVID test. <laughs> Not to be confused with the COVID test, yeah. Anyways, uh, I actually really like this beer. I actually think this is a really winning beer. I'm going to give this one a 4.5 out of 5 in terms of a New England IPA. It's quality, quality shit. <laughs> quality shit, okay? Your bonus feature here, this is a red beer. Uh, my second beer is called the Festive Sour, Le Sour Festif. Uh, I have no idea what it tastes like. It says it's supposed to have some raspberries in it. I'm gonna give it a taste right now. See what it tastes like. Getting some grains, getting some raspberry. Finishes off smooth. I'm gonna give it the immediate rating right now of a 3.5. It doesn't compare to the New England IPA that they had earlier. It had a lot better flavors on it. This one is beautiful to look at. It's a nice red thing, but uh, the taste, the taste is what matters, and it's not there. All right, that was the bonus. That was the bonus track on day 22. Hope to see you tomorrow for day 23. Two more days left. All right, bye. Oh, like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah.